Hello everyone, um, thanks for joining us for this amazing interview. This is Gustavo Quintana. Uh, we are here at the International Production and Processing Expo. We are at the Perth of Booth and we are with Antonia Taconi. She is the Global Portfolio Manager uh, for Animal Nutrition. So Antonia, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, great, so today we will talk about like gut health and heat stress. Um, and I will ask I would like to ask you some questions about it. So, Antonia, can you explain the connection between heat stress and animal gut health, particularly in relation to feed additives? Sure. Um, so when we talk about heat stress, of course, we always have some physiological changes, some physiological impact on the animal itself. Uh, but also what we see are some behavioral changes of the animal that usually leads to basically um, different issues that that end up with you know losses in performance, losses in production in general, and uh, and that's of course something that we want to try to avoid. And uh, with feed additive, you can you know on one side try to counteract these physiological changes that the animal is uh, is undergoing, um, yes. and then with some other type of feed additive, you might also sort of try to work on the behavioral um, approach. Um, we at first Store, we focus more on sort of the physiological changes that we, you might have. And uh, one of the biggest impacts that you have when an animal is under stress is, is, is basically a huge negative impact on gut health, which will lead then to problems like leaky gut. And then, of course, your animal becomes even more prone to infections and things like that. Yeah, well, and I think they will the uh, production challenges that we have in nutrition, I will say that that's a um, huge impact in the animal performance, right? So what role do a specific feed ingredients or additives such as those aimed at managing heat stress playing in maintaining uh, gut health in animals? Yeah, so I mean, generally speaking, there are different approaches you might have. And uh, we at Perstor, we work a lot on gut health as such. We are pioneers in, uh, in uh, the use of uh, butyrins, but also now in the use of valerines, a combination of, of such products. Um, and uh, those products really aim to sort of one side uh, be an energy source for the, for the colonocytes and the epithelial cells of, of the animal, so that you have you know, a better delight growth, no impact on creep death, and then, and then a better um, villa head to creep death ratio, which is a clear indication that your, your um, animal gut is healthy but then on the other side uh, those type of ingredients also play a, a huge role in gut integrity maintaining gut integrity which is crucial under stress condition and uh, and so with a product like uh, our gastrovix ab what we're able to do is on one side uh, we have improved gut health improved gut integrity and and that leads to a more resilient animal when it comes to heat stress but then you can also sort of tackle it from a different uh, approach, which is more maybe a, a nutritional approach, which is balancing the, uh, the di dietary electrolyte in the diet itself. And usually to do that, you would act on the sodium sources of your, of your um, diets. And uh, for that, we have a product which is called Proforce AC299, which is a sodium formate, which will give you the benefits of um, the opportunity of using it as a, as a sodium source, um, but gives you the addition of having formic acid, which is a well-known antibacterial and plays uh, especially a big, uh, a big role when it comes uh, to um, gram-negative pathogens like Salmonella and E. coli that we know create a lot of problems to, to birds in general. Well, and I bet that when you have, um, in relation to those parameters in, in God Hill, when you have a, an improvement in those ratios and the high bilai and all that, so we can have like better animal performance, right? Correct. So um, I would say that, uh, especially under stress condition, the addition of such product would always give you either a better performance in terms of, you know, if we're talking about layers, it will be um, better laying rates, um, um, eggshell quality and things like that. And if we're talking more about broiler, you would have, of course, a positive impact not only on your on your performance in terms of FCR and average daily weight gain, but then by the end of the day also meat quality because we know heat stress will negatively impact meat quality in general. Yeah, so can you provide some insights into how your product helps specifically under stress conditions like heat? Yeah, as mentioned, um, on one side, some products are more targeting exactly gut health, ensuring that, you know, um, indirectly, I would say your animals benefit of it because they're more resilient to the stress itself. Um, and then on the other side, you can actively target basically the problem itself by uh, balancing 
uh, the diet dye electrolytes in the diet itself and, and ensure that on top of that, um, you actually provide an antibacterial. And at the same time, compared, for example, to a standard sodium source, like it would be sodium bicarbonate, you actually, with a sodium formate, don't negatively affect uh, the acid binding capacity of your feed. And so that also impacts performance. So as long as you don't have a too high acid binding capacity in your feed, what will happen is that your animals will automatically perform better. Um, looking ahead, do you see the evolution of your product portfolio in addressing the future challenges of gut health, such as heat stress and overall animal performance, and what innovations on the horizon to continue supporting sustainable and resilient animal production? So, I mean, we at Perstorp, we are very much committed in, in, in sort of trying to, to find solution to the challenges of our customers. So we're also targeting, you know, more regional solution rather than trying to find a solution that covers all uh, regions. And uh, in that, of course, we will be playing around with our own ingredients to, to, to come to the best solution for a specific challenge. Might it be heat stress? Might it be, you know, pathogen control? Might it be um, some other issues like feed qualities and, and things like that? Um, and then on the other side, of course, we're also committed to bringing new molecule into the market. And so, um, especially now with this uh, new setup of, of our company that has, has recently been announced, uh, what we're looking forward to is, is actually being able to really um, come up with very innovative solution and very innovative molecules. So um, we're looking, I personally am looking ahead to that, um, to, to bring real innovation to the market. Antonia, just to wrap up this interview, so is there any recommendations you would like to give to your actual customers and your potential customers? Uh, in relationship to um, Perzorp? As, as mentioned already, we don't have a product that solves all issues. So first of all, come and talk to us, tell us what your, what your issues are, and we're going to try and figure out the best solution for you. And uh, in general, you know, um, gut health is something you need to take care of, and, uh, and um, esters of, of acids uh, play a very important role in that. And, and we at Perstorp, you know, with Proforce is 130, but also with Castrovix AV, we're able to, to bring innovation into the, into, the, into the game, sort of. And then on the other side, of course, organic acid have been known for a long time as, as very beneficial ingredients for animal nutrition. And that's something also we can, we can provide. Well, Antonia, thank you so much for your time. Um, let me give like a congratulations to you and to your team. You have a very nice booth and thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the expo. Thank you very much. It was nice talking to you. <laughs> thank you.